Hello everyone. We've set up our live stream Hi. in the art studio. It's kind of dark on our faces, but you'll be able to see yes, the painting. <laughs> Lizzie, will you turn that light on? Oh yeah. That will make it Very so nice. that you can see my face better. Anyway, so we thought from last time, uh, the last live stream, we thought it would be fun to show Trent painting because you guys all seemed to be excited about that. So we're going to do that. That way, if there's a lull in the conversation, there will at least be something going on here. Yes. No <laughs> boredom <laughs> happening in this live stream. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway. So right now, I'm deciding what to There's paint. two people, four people. Hi, guys. Hello. Let's see. How do you turn on the... Uh, oh, there. Yeah. They, they're there, but they only show in the comments. Ah, gotcha. Hi, Rhonda. So, yeah, we're just... I'm going to wait just a minute, maybe, while I get set up. I'm deciding, really, between four different... Uh, Awesome. Images. You can get on if you want to watch. But... Maybe I'll let you guys help me decide. Okay, yeah, guys. So, so these are all pictures input. that I've taken. They all happen to be of Lizzie, and <laughs> there's Everett in one of them. Can you see those? We'll say. Hey, guys. Hey, Jen. We'll say this hey, one's Jen. number one, next to Laura Jean, number two, two number three, three, number four. So you can vote which one you want Trent to paint. <laughs> <laughs> so you, uh, 11 people, have the. Uh, Ooh, hi, hi from, from France. France. How fun. You. Thank you for joining us. Anybody have any You're thoughts kidding. on these? Number two. You, okay. there, there's only 11 of you. You guys have so much power here. Yeah, really. You can wield it and have a lot of influence on which one Trent So paints. vote for this one. Number two. Vote for this so one. No, no, three. Lots of people say number two. Three, three two votes. Hey, Willow Creek. Hi, Emma. Emma's here. Yay. Hi, Blue Hydrant. Mm -hmm. Hi. Jim, my art, he asks who my art influences are. I would say Sargent and, so John Singer Sargent and Joaquin Soroya are my number one influences. You'll have to Google those. You'll find the most amazing work. Got two more votes for three, another for two, and one for four. Emil says she likes the first one, so is that this, this one? one? Yeah. Is this huh. number two? Yeah, that's number, number two. two. I is think that the one that wins? Pretty. I think so far it's between two and three. Okay. I mean, they're, they'll all... I want you to do number <laughs> they'll one, all, actually. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Eventually, they'll all become paintings. And paint them all. Yep. <laughs> yes. Eventually, they will Yes. Katina okay. says, paint them all. Well, I think just for the sake I of... think number two is winning, but I want you to do number one. <laughs> oh, they're well, all I, good. I know. All of them. That's why, that's why I needed help, because I can't decide. They're all exciting. All right. I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one. Well, shoot. Hey, Tara. Yeah, I guess. a lot of people are number two. I think number two won. Really? Yeah. This one, right? Okay. You can paint me. Wink, wink. Oh, Emma's volunteering as a model. <laughs> Yay! If you hurry on over. <laughs> <laughs> right. So live stream of a live model. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh my goodness. Yes. So Somebody's my... watching us while they're making dinner. Awesome. <laughs> Got my other channel, but I can't do this type of thing on it. Yeah, Trent can't do the live mobile stuff. Um, on the other one. Yeah, so we would have to oh. somehow get the computer's webcam. Trish, okay. So Trish, cool. is, Trish is on there. Awesome. Oh. So we're kind of silent here. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's something we can talk about? Let's see. Well, there's 22 people already on. I'm just trying to... We're so glad you are here, Tara. Oh, uh, yeah. Trish said that she had some bunny cuddling gone wrong, so it sounds like a bunny scratched oh. up one of her kids. That's too bad. Sorry. <laughs> Trish said ninja painter. <laughs> I right. know, it's not, this is my favorite part. Well, every part's my favorite part. So this is me just kind of sketching it in. I never start with a, like a fleshed out um, sketch. I just sketch it in with paint. And it kind of looks messy, but I, I don't know, I kind of enjoy this part. I think it looks cool. It's kind of abstract, but you can tell what it is. Yeah. And I frequently have to you know, erase and kind of start over a little bit, but I'm kind of liking it actually. It's 
looks like it might, fun. might work. Just what do you think, Smeely? That's cool. Jay Saren says, can you guys send me a purple potato? We've actually <laughs> thought of that, um, being able to spread that and have it not be a rare potato anymore. <laughs> Somebody's so like waiting for the happy little trees. Happy yes. little trees? Little squirrels live in the tree? That's right. Mm -hmm. Make the sound effects like Bob Ross. <laughs> That's I right. watched him. I totally loved that guy. <laughs> he was a little trippy, even as, as a, as a five-year-old. I remember him being a little bit strange, but... Well, he's playing to the camera, honestly. I think that's what it's about. Yeah. Most. You know, I honestly can um, I can relate more to Bob Ross now since we started our YouTube channel than I ever could before. <laughs> you know, that different. guy that paints on TV. Yeah. You know, Trent Dickinson. I mean, Bob Ross. I'm going to change it because South it's not Africa. quite right. So this is oh, actually awesome. beneficial because now I get the brown undertone. That I probably should have started with anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and. So what? You just Everybody's gonna like be like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> now it's gonna be perfect er. That's the awesome forgiving thing that I've learned about oil paints that I didn't know about before. Because when you're drawing with <laughs> pencils, like, what are you doing? pretty you're ruining forgiving. It. <laughs> when you're drawing with or doing watercolors, you can't erase it unless you just flood your paper with water but even yeah, if you don't have the right paper, paper. <laughs> but oil paint's pretty awesome yeah just it's pretty paint over it. but there's nothing worse than painting an entire painting because you know i never want to push through <laughs> and just do something trish says a match erases it just fine a what a match like burn it oh. <laughs> Yeah. I know, everybody's like, what are you doing? Why are you erasing it? <laughs> because there's plenty of that where... There's plenty more where that came from. Yeah. Actually, better. You know, I That's have to why. know an artist that knows how to paint fast, so... But yeah, what I was saying is there's no... There's no point Thanks, in Poison Ivy. Ahead she was saying that she enjoys our show. Who was that? Sorry. No, you're Somebody right. was saying... Uh, Poison Ivy was saying they love watching our show and watching you paint and watching you cook and mm -hmm. hang you. out with our kids. Thank you. Hey, Duckhead Homestead. We're just yeah, watching Trent. Idahoans. We're watching Trent erase his sketch. <laughs> we'll see what this one works out. The only thing I'm doing differently is moving Lizzie over, um, and I think you'll all agree that having her in the middle painted, painted perfectly is not as good as having her just a little bit to the side, where she's facing that way. It gives her a a way, or, you know, a place to walk to. When in Idaho says we should have a contest submission where people send pictures to you and whichever one you like, you paint. Ooh, yeah, that sounds fun. actually kind of cool. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Want to give it out as a prize? <laughs> or give that person that submitted it the painting? Someone says, why don't you use sugar maple to tap maple syrup? We totally plan to do that. We don't have any large trees on our property, and all of the trees we have are not maples. So we plan on getting maples, though, because we were just driving through town and watching all these people bag up their leaves, and then we were just like, oh. oh I made us sick that we were in the minivan and couldn't pick up we're, the leaves. We're going to drive through town again with our truck, and we're going to get everybody's uh, leaf compost. In our old town house in town, we used to just get our mulch that way. We would just get all the neighbors' leaves, and we actually ended up growing a maple forest in our property. All from seed? All from seed, and before we left, we were there 10 years. Uh, before we left, we had trees that were about, how tall? Oh, 20 feet. 20 feet tall, and they were all maples. All, it was awesome. It was very awesome. And uh, it blocked the road. Oh, don't worry, don't block it. I didn't try to. Uh, if you find a good question, tell wait, me because I'm I talking. One. I can't read. All um, <laughs> Sydney Wales, how do you choose a spot to start up the painting? Um, I usually, I don't know if you were here when it first started, but um, I kind of just get the whole thing situated. Um, I usually start my paintings with this brown undertone when I'm painting in the studio, um, and I find <laughs> that I skip spots. You know, I'll let some of the canvas show through. And so rather than having this glaring white show through, I, I prefer to have this 
brown show through. It just kind of warms up the tone. So I'll start with that, and then I'll just um, lay it out so that I know that the feet won't be cut off when I finish it. And hello, I'll talk to the camera. And um, oh, if I cover up the white there, then it focuses. Oh on. yeah. Um, they don't want to look at me when they're painting. And I find that I usually finish the hair, or more, almost finish the hair before I um, move on to the other things. I know, you, you'll see. You'll see. Depends on if the model is facing the camera or not. Toby's yes. Here. Toby's on, and then. Uh, Someone asked, "What about honey?" We absolutely want to have honeybees. We have a lot on our plate, and so we have never had a quiet enough moment where we have enough time to be like, hey, I want honeybees. Let's go get some. Yeah. Um. <laughs> well, we, we talked to some people this spring about getting beehives, uh, like professional beehives, and uh, the conversation was so funny. It went from, oh, yeah, you can do this for 50 bucks, and you know, all I have to do is get this. And, well, you probably really need this, too, and that's an extra 120 And, well, by the end of the conversation, it was like seven or $800. Which and is, I was just like, my, at first I was like really excited, and then I was we're just gonna like, do bees, and it's like, mm. never mind. <laughs> we'll figure it so out. Whatever. We're, we're we... gonna do it all ourselves. We're gonna build the box ourselves. We're gonna yeah. do it without a bee suit. You know, we more we natural. met someone who used one of those blue water barrels, and she cut it in half, and she used that to hold all of her hives. Uh, is that what I'm saying? The right word? Those things of wood all that the... they put bee stuff. I know a lot about this. Can you tell? <laughs> Can you guys make cheese wall Trent paints? <laughs> oh, I know. That would be awesome. Actually, it would be really easy. Would I would like not be minutes. able to take the camera, but seriously, I could go over there and get the hot... When you make cheese with a smaller amount of milk, it's that much faster. Trent made... We had a little pot about this big, and um, the kids were really hungry, but we had to leave and go downtown, and we wanted a snack for the car. So Trent just gets... It gets warm a lot faster when you use less milk. And just da 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 da. It was hot within like less than a minute, and then he put well, the. Well, we were late vinegar. to church, and I just made it. it yeah, it was like three minutes total. How about painting yeah, it took cheese? about three minutes, and we got a ball of cheese about this Painting big, right? Cheese. Yeah, it was enough to fill up the kids' bellies on the way to church. It was kind of awesome, actually. <laughs> painting with cheese. Somebody <laughs> was um, uh, said, "How about painting with cheese?" And it was pretty funny. But you can actually paint with milk so solids. No. If, yep. if you take milk oh. and you paint and you, okay, what do you do, clabber it? You clabber the, you have to skim it first completely. You, you skim, it. yeah, because you don't want the oil, so it's a, not oil based. Right, definitely not, yeah. Um, so you have 100% skim and then you clabber it and then you spread it out like on a paper bag. Then you dehydrate it and you take those dehydrated powdered milk, whatever. Yeah, you know. it makes a little bit of... Um, Ammonium? Ammonia into it. Ammonia. And that's it. And then you just color it and make milk paint. It's um, very traditional. In fact, um, before we decided to make our house out of concrete, we were we decided that if we were to ever use paint, it was going to be natural milk paint on our walls. And now we don't have to because it's going to be natural plaster instead. So we're not going to use paint at all, except on should, uh, should yeah. certain places. Traditional paint, I don't even want. Technically, I don't, I don't you in mean, a finished you mean modern house. paint? Yes. Oh, yeah. Modern latex and all that kind of stuff I don't want in, the, in our house at all. Yeah. For more than one reason. One, because I'm a purist, and two, because it's not really good for you. Um, someone said, do you suggest making a painting in all in one sitting? And I think they're asking if you're using oils or if you suggest using oils. Of course, Trent prefers oils. Um, there's plenty of other... Yeah, there's. it really is... If you're an artist, it's really just your preference. Um, I would suggest trying everything, and always try everything. I'm always experimenting now. People will ask me for recommendations, and I just say, oh no, this is what I'm using right now. You know, brand names, and different brushes, and different varnishes, and things like that. I just, I experiment with all the time. And regarding all in one sitting, Trent usually tries to finish every painting w the same day that he starts it. Yeah. He likes painting wet on wet, if you know what I mean. He doesn't want it to dry. Sometimes the painting will be the kind of painting that takes a long time, but he prefers all in one. So, am I right? Yeah, yeah, you are right. Um, I have an old art teacher who just creamed me every time I would just copy. You know, he would say, "You're just all you're doing is copying a photo. You're not even being an artist." 
Well, I was being an artist when I first took the photo, and it took me an hour to get that photo just exactly right. And so now that I'm here, of course I would never, I, I don't like the idea of painting um, another person's photo, so that contest we were talking about kind of wouldn't work yeah. <laughs> in my mind. Okay, yeah. Unless it was a commission, I mean, I would certainly, you know, paint something like that for a painting Yeah, customer. part of the creative process is the photograph, the so photograph. yeah. Yeah, so that's part of the art, and it would just be plagiarism to, to pass off a photo in a magazine. Um, as my own, you know. yeah. But um, anyway, so yeah, the point is I get uh, a lot of the artistry behind the painting goes into the um, photograph. The photograph, yeah. Someone said, "Do we have our own mushrooms?" We do not. Someday, that would be really cool. We're trying to. We're hoping to grow a forest everywhere yeah. on our property, and then when those trees die, we will lay them down for mushrooms. Yeah. It will take a long time. <laughs> That's the thing is, we have a perfectionist view of our life, but we have to be very patient. Otherwise, we either, one, get depressed, or another, we try to fix our problems by going into debt, which I'm, we feel very, very strongly dead, against. Dead against that, yeah. So we have to be patient, and uh, so we turn it into a game. We try to count our blessings and say, you know what, we don't have trees, whatever, someday. <laughs> <laughs> that one's hard. Recently, I've been like, ah, I want I trees. Honestly, we've been uh, looking at properties just because we're like, oh, I know. We'll look, we'll, at, we'll look at, like at properties in the east where it's like all trees, and we'll just be like, oh. and then we have to come back and come back and convince ourselves that this is a great place to live, and it is. Actually, I the, actually, the more we've been looking at properties, the more I'm convinced that we don't want to leave. So. I, I'm really enjoying the idea of the fact that our property is an empty canvas and so we can put the trees exactly where we want and the exact kind we want. Because we were actually looking at some of the, the forested properties that were available in many different states. A lot of them were pine forests, which I don't feel yeah. is my home, if that makes sense. It doesn't feel home. I want it to feel like Hobbiton. But, mm -hmm. but without all the hobbit holes, but just like all our property, and then a lot more trees. If you guys know what Hobbiton looks like from Lord, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> um, See, I, I know that it was a good decision to scrape that first painting, uh, because now I feel it 100%. And it's I, actually to the point where if I had to stop, if I had a heart attack and died, I would still be proud of this painting. Yeah, actually, <laughs> as when, <it> was. <laughs> as, before you even did, when it was just this part a minute ago, yeah. when it's not live, you guys will have to rewind it. I thought it was fantastic, and I almost wanted to save it. That's the funny thing about yeah. watching Trent paint. I'll come in different stages, and I'll be like, that is so cool. And then I'll come back later, I'm like, that is so cool, too. And I wish you had a copy of every single stage, like, seriously, like, so that you could just frame it, like, well, they, each one. You. I mean, I'm very lucky that Laura Jean has a very dis discerning eye because she'll tell me, stop right here, don't touch it again. <laughs> <laughs> and frequently that's actually saved my painting, so that's awesome. <laughs> Behind every good artist is a better criti critic. <laughs> oh, someone was listening in. Uh, they said, are you planning to move? Only no, if we need to. Really. We like to look at property just so we can, but we are not planning to move. It is a if we need to kind of like I don't know. I, I don't, don't want like to someday. move. Yeah. If Lizzie, <laughs> Lizzie want doesn't to. want to move. Trent yeah. and I like to look at things to find out. It, it helps us if to they speak define to us. what. Yeah. Plus, looking at other properties and envisioning a, you know, a different life or a different property with um, different elements on it. It helps us know what we want, and it yeah. helps us has helped us realize that we already have what we want, and it's really nice. Yeah. I'd love to have a year-round stream and. 150 year old trees already on the property right when I say we have what we want it's not what we have it's not yes, perfect. we're never gonna have everything that we want just perfectly well 20 feet tall yeah our um our ones from from uh, from seed that we planted we uh someone was saying are you going to plant trees away from the house to make sure you're safe when your house is made out of concrete it's not really a big deal yeah. To have trees that close. And so I honestly would I'm love our but house we, to be is, hugged by trees. It is something within that, reason. We, that we think about, though. I mean, we, we're wanting to choose varieties that, that won't be, uh, the roots won't 
<laughs> endanger our house. And we won't be susceptible to falling falling on the house as much. Dad, yeah. Willow Creek Homestead said, if you move, you lose some pretty awesome neighbors, so that's not allowed. <laughs> okay, actually, yeah. on that point, we decided that wherever we live, we have to bring... Our friends. <laughs> Trish and Jonah. Hi, Annie. With us. So, We're going to kidnap you if we ever move, so don't yeah. worry. So, so look into Tennessee and Santa Fe and a couple other places. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you move, you're coming with us. Yeah, pretty much. That's so what we've here's the thing about us. We dream all the time, and it doesn't stop. It's like a sickness slash, a, I consider it a blessing, right? Yeah. So there's no risk <laughs> in <laughs> dreaming in because you didn't room. actually do it. Yeah. I, does that make sense? You don't have the consequence of like, oh my goodness, I just bought this place, and now I have, the, I have to deal with it. To dream, it doesn't cost anything to dream. It doesn't cost anything to dream. You can just, so that's honestly, that's all it is, that we're not preparing to move. We're, we're thinking like retirement type yes. of property someday. They said, ha ha, let's find a mountain and run away. Yep. Exactly. So when you <laughs> close your eyes and you imagine the ideal, sometimes it's not what you have. And then you open your eyes and you take what you have and you build it into a dream. And if you end up moving, you do. And then you don't. Then you are still happy. What? Uh -huh. what are people saying? They said, you can take Trish and Jonah and move to northern Michigan. I need neighbors like you. <laughs> We've looked into Michigan. It is awesome. We have awesome. very much looked into On Michigan. On <laughs> many levels. Many levels. Yes. The homeschool so. laws are, are very good. The winters, I, I want to talk to some people about the winters there. I suspect that they are no worse than what we have here. <laughs> I know. I, I want to do more research. Because even we at our house don't have the same winters as people in the city in Preston. Not even close. Huh, Trish? Far worse. <laughs> so maybe we'd fit right into Michigan. Maybe the weather wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, you guys will have to tell us what kind of weather you get. This last winter, what was our lowest temperature? They said winters oh. are fun. It hovered, hovered around negative 25 for about a week or so, I remember. Yeah. Um, late January or early Because this past winter was one of the worst, but I didn't mind it. No, it, it was fun. We were warm. How many inches of snow did we get in like three days? That was awesome. Oh, 30. That was awesome. It was about 30, I think. Yeah, so I that was wrong. fun. And you probably get like more than that. Feet, I don't know. Okay, they can't hear you because you're pointing that way. Oh, so okay. So you, you can be the, you can be my voice. I'll, I'll be the visual. Okay, turn will paint and then I'll repeat you if you need to. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know, guys. The snow is nice if you don't have to drive in it. <laughs> yeah, we've thought about trees that might impede on our foundation. So yeah, we've, we were doing research and trying to make sure we plant trees that are going to leave our house alone, as far as roots are concerned. That's one of the things that we found when we were digging up our rubble foundation, that there was a root. How big was the root that was going straight through the foundation? Yeah, about five inches. Right between the rocks. County. So. That big round. That's probably not five inches. What'd you say? That big. Somebody said, look lo look up Lilano County in Michigan. It's beautiful. Okay. okay. Thanks. We definitely want to be from be away from any cities. Yeah. <laughs> Far away enough from a big city that we'd have to drive at least half an hour to go to a grocery store. <laughs> Maybe not that far to a grocery store. I'm fine with being as far from normal. Modern so if someone wants to know possible. what color you're using, Trent mixes his own colors, so I guess that answers that. So here's... So this is a mixture of dioxazine purple and ultramarine blue, and that's what I used for most of Lizzie's dress. Um, this is what I used for the water, and it's a mixture of ultramarine blue, white of course, also in those mixtures and phthalo green and this is a random mixture of a bunch of different colors <laughs> yellow and uh, burnt sienna and white and a little bit of black just trying to I'm not trying to match the colors by any means i never do i'm just trying to get them all to work in the same scene match so, the relationship that they have with each other yeah exactly so like if there if there's lots of bright colors then you do like you would have them all be bright or have them all be 
Yeah, if you, I could put like a filter on the whole thing. I could turn oh. the whole thing pink if I wanted to, but this would be slightly more purpley pink, and that would be slightly more bluish pink. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So Toby, thanks for that comment. That was really nice. She says that as a mom of five, too, she keeps being inspired by our lifestyle and watching our yummies. Mm -hmm. I love, I cook from scratch with almost every meal. This morning I didn't, we <laughs> cooked quesadillas with turkey in them so that's me when i cheat and it's good though. i only cheat well, for a this little... homegrown turkey at least yes the turkey was the, the, turkey the one either. from the neighbors that the dog killed so we still are eating that turkey um but uh that's after eating like that for a few times you feel it it's just not real food and so we usually try to be like more vegetables <gasps> please i don't feel human <laughs> it takes a toll Oh, someone says Jen Z E J or jeans. I can't read it. So. Jen's J. She says her mom has a house in the Highlands of Scotland, <laughs> an hour and a half away from the big stores. Oh. And it's a village has its own post office and a pub. Whoa! And it has only about fifty people live there. <gasps> that sounds that so sounds cool. Awesome. We're moving there. <laughs> no, well, uh, okay, I suddenly changed my mind. And I, I know. As soon right. as we mention Europe, Lizzie's like, "Just kidding. Let's move." She is obsessed with Europe. I love G. The kids had a lot of fun in homeschooled studying German. Like, not German, but German. Germany. It was really uh, fun. Yeah. Alex had a lot of fun. Let's see. <laughs> Tell me. Toby Berkowitz says, I love cheating. Yes, cheating is a way to keep sanity. Sometimes you just have to cheat a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Regarding meals, if you yeah. didn't know what, that's what we were talking about. How are our rabbits doing? We had to take one of the rabbits out of the cage. We um, put it in an old chicken run. What is it? Well, it's an old rabbit cage, technically. It, yeah. But... Well, no. You put it in that one? Yeah. Oh, I thought you put it in the chicken one. Oh. You put it in the rabbit cage. It was the old... Yeah, we don't want... I think I want to build a rabbit tractor. I looked that up. I just don't like the idea of having them stationary. I've seen the people that... The, the cages that people build that, that have them hanging. That just makes me feel like... If I was a rabbit and I was up high in a cage, that, that would be... That's why I always put myself in the animal's perspective. So I think I want something where they're on the ground, they can eat grass, and we can move them around. I've seen rabbit cages where they put something in the bottom so they can't dig out. That's what I think I want to do. We can move around. People are telling me all about Europe and it's freaking me out. Yes, Lizzie wants want to, to go to Europe, Europe so everybody's now. comments on Europe. Lizzie's drooling as she reads them. <laughs> <laughs> not really. That would be gross. <laughs> yeah, not literally. Sherry's Country Home says that she's tried her recipes and enjoys... Th thank you. Oh, thanks. And she says that she loves that we add no sugar. Yeah, that's something that we try to do and it helps a lot we have recently been eating too much ice cream and i'll tell you what <laughs> emma doesn't eat much of her normal dinners very much anymore and she acts a lot more psycho she <laughs> than she normally She's like does bouncing off so i'll walls. tell you right now if you want peace in your home <laughs> and even if, even if your motivation is nothing to do with your health <laughs> physically it can be a mental health like you won't even believe um, your kids will start acting like humans. <laughs> How can you eat too amazing. much ice cream? I know, too much. That's the thing is we have <laughs> right. that same mentality. And so every Whoa. every night we watch Doctor Who recently. This has become a tradition. Um, <laughs> and so we sit down and everyone's like, mm, we need ice cream. Because it, we did it the one time and then it's like, it's tradition to watch Doctor Who. So now it's tradition to eat ice cream while we watch Doctor Who. It's getting crazy. So we're cutting back and hopefully our true child named Emma will come back <laughs> to us because she's been having a rough time and it is very easy to tell that it's directly correlated to the ice cream. <laughs> Switch to popcorn. That's right, popcorn. Yeah. That is what we used to eat before we opened the ice cream Pandora's box. Well, it went completely off sugar for, I mean completely off sugar for about a year. And, uh, like we, hardcore. Yeah, and we, so we established a new um, baseline, I guess, for how we feel, and we were very, very 
aware of how much better we felt when we cut the sugar completely out of our diets. And it only took about two weeks to get used to it before we weren't craving it anymore. And we haven't gotten sick as much. We have just, we've lost weight. We've gained um, energy. It's awesome. Really awesome. That one thing has just really affected our lives. And the next thing we need to work on is going to bed earlier and waking up earlier. Yes. <laughs> I, I really think that that's like that, a really important thing that we need to work on. That's the difference between insane parents and good parents. <laughs> so, is sleep is what I'm talking about. Yeah, not just amount of sleep, but just going to bed early, I think, would be... Someone suggests that we freeze milk in ice cube holders and then place it in a blender with some raw honey and vanilla extract and that soft served ice cream. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm going to try that. I've always wanted to make homemade ice cream and have it not take forever and be way involved like the ice cream maker that we have. It's just a lot of work. Oh. Which is funny because we do a lot of things that are a lot of work. It all depends on how motivated <laughs> we draw you the are. Line ice cream. <laughs> The thing about if you hand crank your ice cream, though, is that even if you do put sugar in it, you've worked it all off <laughs> by making well, it. Well, sugar that's, doesn't quite work that way, that's does it? That's <laughs> the joke about sugar is you think that you can, like, cancel it out, but it, it's cheating. It's an abusive relationship, sugar. It lies to you all the time. Yeah. Yes, I think it'd be yummy with goat milk. That, we just recently had sheep's milk. Oh, my goodness. It's amazing. It is awesome. Lizzie didn't like it. Okay. So me and Trent <laughs> like it. Lizzie doesn't like it. Well, Lizzie likes goat milk, too. Well, and we I, don't. And I, I don't. I don't. I honestly don't. Sorry, Trish. I <laughs> like yours. Yours was the best goat milk, milk I've ever had, but I still don't like goat milk. It's just a I love thing. goat milk. It's so good. <laughs> the sheep milk was really, it was like, okay, it was really surreal because when you skim cow milk, you're getting 100% of the cream out. <laughs> Um, I think sheep's milk <laughs> is slightly homogenized, naturally, am I right? Because I when you, when she skimmed her milk, this lady who shared this milk with us, she skimmed off the cream and then we drank the skim milk and it was solid. It was not clear like skim milk from a cow is. Is Jean on here with us? I don't know. No, I if didn't you're see on her. here, Jean, you let us know if it actually is a little bit homogenized or some kind of... Is that the right word? It's like mixed together. Yeah. But it was interesting. It tasted very creamy, even though it was skim. I thought was, I was surprised. And that's that's saying a lot, kind of, from people who are used to drinking um, Jersey milk, milk, which is very it's sweet. Very creamy. I make hot cocoa with my Jersey milk, and I all I do is add Dutch cocoa to it, and I don't add anything else. I add cinnamon. Yeah, well, I mean no sweeteners. Oh. It's yummy. It's really good. Bye, Duckhead. They have to go to get the kids started on homeschool. Yes, my kids haven't started homeschool yet. <laughs> <laughs> I usually get them started before, like right after animal chores, we, get, we sit down and get started. Because... Yeah. We woke up really early this morning, and then we sort of got a late start for some, for some <laughs> we reason. We just sat around why. talking. <laughs> yeah, we did talk fun, for a long time. That was fun, though. Yeah. <laughs> Someone asks, what do we use our sunflower seeds for? Um, right now it's to feed the outdoor mice. <laughs> no. We, our, we left some out and to, they're eating them. Yeah. Our goal was to make uh, like salad oil and cooking oil out of the sunflowers. We're going to have to build seeds. a press. Yeah. So if we ever get around to it, we will show you. We have a 20-ton hydraulic press. Um, we do? And, yeah. That's what we used to lift the house when we made it. Oh, but, um, yes. So we can, I don't know. I've seen designs online. It's pretty simple, but we just have to do it. Grind up the seeds and then press them. It'd be really fun. <laughs> Certain things don't get done. <laughs> Rhonda says that she wants to start homeschooling. She wants goats and sheep and ducks and turkeys. Homesteading. Oh, homesteading. Sorry. Homesteading with ducks and turkeys. That sounds awesome. Making your own yogurt and ice cream is definitely one of the pluses of having a dairy animal. 
What? Why do four of your kids have E names and Alex has an A? <laughs> Poor Alex. <laughs> He's the odd one out. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Lizzie, Elizabeth, Alexander, they're kind of um, old-fashioned and a little bit... Um, royal. Royal family. names. And that was just kind of the theme. <laughs> um, Everett is the name of several of my favorite artists who are out there. Uh, as well as just a very cool old-fashioned name. So the, well, the running well, theme is old-fashioned. The, uh, the running theme is old-fashioned, and I if we like it. <laughs> That's when we started loving that name, yeah. <laughs> Pride and Prejudice. Yes, any of the sunflowers that we do not press will end up just saving for the chickens and ducks. Because um, I was out there harvesting sunflower heads last week, and I was only harvesting the big ones, and I was going to leave the small ones because I was getting tired and lazy. And then I realized that I'm probably going to go back and cut every single head off because I'd rather feed my birds than the wild birds. Because that's what's eating them right now, is mice and wild birds. And the tiny ones are still great for... Um, I'm sure you could press them, but they're going to be great for chicken food. So that'll be awesome. Uh, hey, Mike Russell. Thanks for joining us. Someone asks, do we have any advice for growing basil with strong roots? Mine always bites the dust before I can harvest the... I don't have a clue. Yeah, Actually, I wish we could say. <laughs> um, Even from one side of our, our property to the next, we have varying degrees of, of luck with our basil, is one of them, with our, with our herbs. I yeah. always let my basil in the garden flower before I harvest anything, and then it's all tough and not tender. <laughs> so I'm not the best yeah. expert in basil. <laughs> Actually, all of our herbs are more or less just for, cur currently, our goal is to actually use them for medicinal purposes, but most of the time we forget to harvest them at the peak of their season and we just use them as needed if I we get sick. I did get to harvest mint and chamomile this year, but when I tried to harvest my oregano, it turns out it did not have like the potent oils that your traditional herbs, it's the wrong variety. Yeah which is really dumb because they're really big mature plants that have no, they taste like cardboard after you dehydrate them. That's, <laughs> don't, I don't know what, it was a gift from a friend, so I don't even know what variety it is. So I will try to get a different one, I guess. Well, Jean is going to give us some of hers. And we have a friend who has a permaculture garden in her backyard, and so she plans on sharing a lot of plants with us, which is very nice. Thank you, Jean. Let's see. Sorry, I'm just reading. <laughs> I'm reading comments of people having conversations with each other. Someone says you're beautiful. Yay. <laughs> Lizzie is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Someone says, how do you make cheese taste better? Every time I make it, it tastes weird. <laughs> it is different when you make it from the, from the videos that we make. That's the cheese we always make, and it is not like store-bought cheese in any way. I've never had store-bought cheese that tastes like what we have. But I've grown to like it, so I guess that's really all it is, is acquired taste. an acquired taste. Now, I remember thinking it tasted like vinegar when we first started making it, and I was like, meh. Um, but ever since we started making uh, food from scratch and not eating sugar, everything that is in its more homemade, raw, and rustic form, it tastes like, more like real food than it used to. Back when we were eating sugar and processed foods and fast foods all the time, the homemade foods tasted like cardboard. <laughs> and I didn't like them. But now I do, so I don't know if that is really, that's worked for us anyway. Yeah, I would agree with that. Are we going to try hydroponics someday? Um, uh, possibly aquaponics, where we have the, the fish um, I like that idea. That would be fun. I don't know if uh, it, it's, kind of, it's definitely on our list, but as you know, 
so many other things are too. It's just, I, I think that one's not a high priority because we realize that we're going to have to devote a lot of attention to it all and, at once. And to money to the system, and, like and pipes and, and stuff. And money is not something that we have. <laughs> money doesn't grow on canvases. To... Wait. <laughs> Wait, it kind of does, doesn't it? I can literally draw my own money. We should paint our own money. What? This whole time we've been painting pictures of girls sitting in the rocks, but... <laughs> you should draw... Mean? A hundred dollar bill with my face on it. Trent, that painting is stunning as usual. Thank you. By Pur Bright Purple Viking. Thank you, guys. Oh, thanks. How, how long have we... We've been live for 40 minutes. That went really fast. I can't believe it. Because technically, we've been trying to keep our stuff under uh, about 30 to 40 minutes. So. We'll keep going if you want. Hi, from Chile, South America. Thanks for joining us, Jim. We're grateful to have you guys. This has been really fun. 77. Someone says, Cheryl's Country Home says, I'd love for you to do videos on your medicine, your natural home remedies and stuff. Oh, that would we be cool. We have a few out there. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Um, thanks for reminding us. We'll, we'll definitely throw that into the mix. Let's see. Oh, we do have a few out there, but um, we've got three that I can think of. But they're kind of scattered. What's that? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Speaking of, Lizzie's begging for some elderberry syrup, which has tons of good stuff in it for you. It'll keep so. a cold away. Actually, I was definitely feeling a sinus cold come on yesterday, same time as Lizzie was last night, and we took a little bit of this elderberry syrup that, again, our friend Jean gave to us from wild elderberries. They're I think they're wild. Yeah, they are wild. Um, and uh, I don't feel the symptoms anymore, so I'm a believer already. This stuff's well, awesome, because awesome, I woke up with a stuffy nose, and so I would love to take some too. Yeah, and we found a great location to pick our own, so now that we know how to identify them, <laughs> so we need to go back there. Yeah, gummies. We've seen people do that with their elderberries. <laughs> Someone says, when in Idaho says, my kids don't love the elderberry syrup, I make them take it anyway. <laughs> Actually, I the first time I tried dried elderberries from the health food store, I just oh. about gagged. I cannot stand the flavor. It's disgusting to me, which is why a lot of <laughs> this local wild honey, I guess, it was used in this batch. But it's, it's good. I can still taste the elderberry, which is pretty awful, but... <laughs> But it tastes more like syrup. Yeah, I think it's an acquired taste. As Rhonda points out, you love elderberries. And I, I could see myself liking elderberries. Now, I don't know what fire cider is. Uh, when in Idaho mentioned that she's got that, she's making that. You have to tell us what that is. Um, we're new it to the... Like caramel. We're a little bit new to the medicine, build your own medicine cabinet. Stuff. We have stuff that, how much do you want? I don't know how much um, you're supposed to do. Oh, okay. So, she said about a table, tablespoon, four times a Yum. day. Oh my goodness, this tastes just amazing. Oh, it really? tastes I like caramel. I, I almost started saying that, but it was the wrong word. Oh, oh I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to keep going with the live stream? If, um, That's if we're not being too boring, we can keep on going. What? I don't know how to lift that thing. <laughs> I can't get the lid back on. Oh, oh I did it. We figured it out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? Oh, Trish is signing off and it's going to be Emma. She said Armageddon is happening behind her. Yeah. Hello, Emma. Yeah, well, it's, oh, know. thanks. She said that she made an eye in when in Idaho says she has a video on how to make it. Okay, we'll have to check that out. Culture a bunch of really strong stuff garlic, onions, horseradish, in, in apple cider vinegar, very, very potent and healthy. Ooh, sounds awesome. Teresa, yeah, thanks. Um, says, I'm talking, interacting, and making a beautiful thing. Thank you. Um, if I paint main money, <laughs> you'll pay. Me money? Oh, I'll paint you money. Oh, I see. I'll buy all your paintings. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, so well, this is how I 
how we pay for our homestead projects. And it's funny, the more homesteading happens, the less I have an ability to pay for them because I'm not painting as much. And the more I paint, the less homesteading projects I can actually do. So it's a really funny thing to have to balance um, because I love so, love both aspects of, of our lives so much, you know, the art and also the house building and gardening and homesteading side of it. So I haven't been painting enough the past month. But. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody it's, asked, what jobs have you had before homesteading? Oh, that's a good one. Hmm. Not very many. <laughs> I've always been an artist, and before that I had odd jobs just to make ends meet for a few months. But um, just a couple of years after Laura Jean and I got married, I found myself making more money <clears throat> painting than I was at my retail job at the time. I was at a mall. I was refilling inkjet cartridges, and I, I thought, well, at least it's somewhat artistic. I'm working with colors. It wasn't, it wasn't artistic at all. He'd come home with ink all over his hands, and he wouldn't be able to wash it off because it was soaked in. And now I just have paint. It's, it's a lot more fun, <laughs> being my own boss. People thought that it was paint, and so Trent would just let them believe. Oh yeah, I used to it work. It would be too to... depressing to explain. No, I'm not full time artist yet. But now he's been a full time artist ever since Alex was a baby. So that has been a really nice blessing. Well, full-time until you bought this house. Now he's a full-time house builder and homesteader and a part-time yeah. artist. Accidentally, it's well, just kind of happened that way. Kind of, yeah. But now that the house is not an emergency and it's more of a passive, like we can passively work on the house, then he's been able to get more. When in Idaho, I can't picture, <laughs> can't picture me. I say she. He, she. When in Idaho. I'm not sure who's talking here. Uh, so... Um, yeah, so I can't either. I can't picture myself doing anything other than what we're doing right now. And it, <laughs> it's actually hard to uh, remember in a way the other life that we had before, which was only four years ago <laughs> yeah. that we didn't have this life. Well, but we, this we is were such very much on a path lifestyle. to being homesteaders. Um, if you guys have ever seen, and maybe they're on here, a mini steading. They're awesome. They're, I think, in Michigan. I don't They're remember. in Il Oh, Illinois. I don't know. No. Okay, obviously I don't know. Indiana. Oh, oh okay, yeah, you're right. Um, but they are doing now what we were doing um, in our last house that we were in for 10 years. Um, we They're... were homesteaders, but we felt very oppressed by the city and the small lot size and the small house that we had. And building codes. Building codes, very much so. Very, very much so. Neighbors that Traffic. wouldn't let us do anything. Yeah. Anyway, go go check them out. They're called Mini Steading, and they are very much doing what we were doing. So if we could show you all our videos, it would just be exactly what Mini Steading is doing. Yep. <laughs> They're awesome. Check them out. Should we wind up? Okay, so Jen. Down? Hi, Jen. <laughs> uh, hi. <laughs> Let's, keep Let's see. Well, we appreciate you guys tuning in. I didn't finish the painting, but I'll, um, it'll we'll, be on my website, which is trentgoodmanson.com. It'll also be on our website. We'll show the finished. He's yeah. probably going to finish in, a, in, a, in at least the next 45 minutes. Yeah. So we'll show you in tomorrow's video. So tomorrow oh, okay. morning's video, we'll put it in. Because we're about to go film it, you know, whatever we do today that which deems, we haven't planned yet, deems so. worthy. <laughs> We've got a list of 50 things that we need to do today, and we'll probably get to Oh, there's them. a so. list of a thousand things that need to be done. We just have to pick which one's on the top of the... Um, got to gotta fix, fix the rocket stove, make new rabbit cages, um, make a chicken coop, figure out a new place to put the cow, finish the roof. Oh, boy. Maybe I should stop talking about that stuff. Cook three meals. <laughs> Survive the day. Get yeah. Get some laundry done. Or all of it. There we go. Let's be positive here. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and say bye. We had so much fun chatting with you guys. And we hope you enjoyed today's. Um, let us know in the comments if this was the kind of the the kind of thing that you like. Like, do you enjoy this painting? Or do you want something else next week? But for now, we will say goodbye, and we'll see you tomorrow in our regular video. Bye! 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 -bye.